Hey, my name's Addy, and welcome to Hollow Quest. We've been kind of on a Pikachu run here recently, as I just opened the Pikachu V10. So I figured we'd go ahead and open the Pikachu and Zekrom GX Tag Team 10, as it may be possible that I have two of these. I ordered some duplicates on accident, so I want to go ahead and get one of these openings out of the way. So in case we have another one, I can kind of space them out or something. By the way, if you're on TikTok and want to see additional openings and, you know, some of my cut-together reactions and things like that, TikTok.com slash HollowQuest, you can find me there as well. So opening up the tin here, ooh, I'm already really happy. It comes with a pin. So far, most of the tins, every once in a while they include stuff, but most of the tins just come with the leading card. This one comes with, oh, it's not a pin. It's just like a badge. Well, a badge would be a pin. It's just like a coin thing. That's disappointing. If this was a pin, that'd be like sick, because I, I keep pins on little pin boards throughout my studio. I can probably glue a pin back to it to use it as such, uh, but for now it'll just go on a set piece somewhere. Get our packs out of here. I keep the plastic separate to recycle it, and then I reuse the tins for storing other things, including Pokemon cards. So we of course have the headlining card here, which is Pikachu and Zekrom GX Tag Team with Full Blitz and Tag Bolt GX as attacks, and these are some very powerful attacks with 240 hit points. This thing is a full power electric type beast, and the art is absolutely gorgeous. I don't have a whole lot of Tag Team cards, so this is nice. And then we have four packs before us, scaling up from older to new, so we've got XY Steam Siege, Base Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. So we're just gonna go, we're actually gonna reverse it this time. We're gonna do uh, newest to oldest. I'm assuming that's the age for this, otherwise it doesn't matter. And I gotta remember, I believe XY will be back on the older card order trick. That always trips me up. We have Skiddo, Kiddo. We have Kimiko, Kimiko, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Miss Drevis. ooh, that is some gorgeous art for Miss Drevis. Been working on evolving one in Pokemon Go. It's one of my, one of my favorite, I believe ghost type Pokemon. That's listed as psychic, but I think ghost. We've got Stuffle, Feebas, Dark type energy, Diggersby, hakamo o Always hated trying to say that. Pretty cool Pokemon though, for real. Countercatcher, our reverse is Mankey. We actually just got a reverse of this recently. And our rare is Cacturn. Come on, we need a hollow. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. I gotta say, my sample size is pretty small, but compared to the generations before it and after it, I'm not a huge fan of the Sun and Moon sets, both in terms of the art, the variety, and the hollows that I've been getting, which is my own pull rates and not the set itself, but it happens. We've got Alolan Rattata, one of the few Alolan forms I really like. We've got Wimpod, such a dumb name. Togedemaru, Sock. Mudbray, Fairy Energy. Acerola, Wishful Baton, Metapod, our Reverse Hollow is Meowth, and our Rare is Tangrowth. Two commons for our Hollows so far, with only two packs down. Not looking good, ladies and gentlemen, here on our Hollow Quest. So now we are on Base, Sun, and Moon. Would love to get my hands on an old school Team Rocket pack. Like... Obviously, I'd love an entire booster back, booster box. That would be like a dream come true. But realistically, like a single booster pack of the Team Rocket set from when I was a kid would be phenomenal. Why am I having so much trouble opening packs today? Like, if I could build a time machine, I would feel completely justified only using it to go back in time with like a big wad of cash, era appropriate cash, and buying a bunch of bo booster boxes of Pokemon cards from when I was a kid. We've got Dewpiter, Dupiter. Poliwag, love Poliwag. That's some like uh, little big planet art there. Pretty neat. Paris, Chinchal, another Alolan Rattata, Electric type energy, Pokemon Catcher, Metapod, Toracat, lovely little starter evolution. Our reverse hollow is uncommon this time at least, Dartrix, and our rare is Pile of Sand. Come on, Tin. All right. Our final pack here is XY Steam Siege. Hopefully we get something good from it. Jeez. Our luck today is not super great. 
Don't know what I did wrong today. Watch. Since that uh, online code was not the right way, I did this out of order. We have Tangela, Pontiard, Oshawott, lovely little starter, Nidoran, Fungus, Fungus Amoongus, Nuzleaf, a Pokemon I absolutely love from third gen. I never really use Shiftry much, but I use Nuzleaf a ton. Pokemon Ranger, Anorith, lovely fossil Pokemon. Our reverse is a Fungus, Fungus Amoongus, and our rare hair! All right, it could be better, it could be full art, it could be GX, whatever, but we got a rare hollow Eveltal. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I've never heard it said out loud before. I played Pokemon Y as my main playthrough of that generation, and Eveltal was a great Pokemon. This is sick, all right. So, not amazing pulls from this tin, but I will say that at least is a good enough payoff to make it worthwhile just to have had fun and opened it up regardless. Thank you so much for your support. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Let me know what your picks from this tin have been if you've opened it recently. Uh, anything better than mine, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the subscribe button for more Pokemon TCG openings. Go check my recent videos. Follow me on TikTok. All of that jazz. I'll see you next time.